Do you find that appointments are missing on your calendar? Or your calendars on your phone, computer, and iPad don't match? That's a really common problem, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. This is Allison from Computers.Mom, and let's get started. The first step is to make all your calendar data visible. What does that mean? Well, on this iPad, let's go into the calendar app by tapping here. And we're looking at a week where I've added a few sample appointments. Now, the thing you need to understand is these appointments don't just exist in the calendar app. They're syncing to the cloud. And that allows all of those appointments to show up on every device, your iPad, your computer, your phone, without you ever having to plug anything in. It's very convenient. Notice how the appointments are different colors. That's because they're coming from two different calendars. If you tap this calendars button at the bottom of the screen, you'll see what I mean. Apple automatically gives you a home calendar and a work calendar that you can edit, and then also a holidays calendar and a birthdays calendar. Those come from your contacts. We're not going to talk about Siri found in apps here. It's a little more advanced. So when you turn on and off those different calendars by clicking on these little buttons, you can see that the relevant appointments disappear and reappear depending on what you've clicked. Clicking on those buttons makes your calendar data visible or not. So when appointments disappear, it's usually just because something is unchecked. When I'm happy with my choices, I just tap done and I have my calendar set up the way I want it. But wait, the birthdays are missing. Let's go back into the calendars, check birthdays, and tap done and the birthday reappears. Second step is to make sure you have the correct default calendar. What's a default calendar? That's the one that stuff automatically goes on to the normal one. For example, if I click the plus sign up here to add an appointment, let's give it a title and choose a date and time. Notice here that it has already been assigned to the home calendar automatically. When I finish by clicking add, the appointment shows up here and it's blue because it's on the home calendar. If I want to change it, tap on the appointment and I can choose a different calendar right there. Now it turns purple because it's on the work calendar. If most of my appointments are going to be on the work calendar, then that really ought to be the default. So how do I change the default calendar? Go back to the home screen and tap here on the settings button. Now scroll down to the calendar option and you'll see default calendar right here set to home. If I want to change it, I tap on it and then just choose whichever calendar I would like appointments to go to automatically. I want to keep it on home and then I just tap calendar again to go back to the option. All set. Every appointment I add on this device will automatically go to that calendar. If you're only using Apple's calendars, then we're done. You just have to make sure you have the same settings on all of your devices so everything matches up. But many people also use another calendar from Gmail, Yahoo, or an exchange calendar from their workplace. Those calendars came along with an email address. So how do we make those available in the calendar app? Still in settings, tap here on passwords and accounts. That shows you a list of the email accounts you've added to this device. We're going to tap on this work account and you see that the calendar is not enabled. Mail and contacts are. So if we change this, the calendar information from that account, the work account, will be available. When we go back to our calendars, you see there's a whole bunch of new appointments here. Now when I tap the calendars button, I'm going to see the original iCloud calendars down here at the bottom, plus a new set of calendars that come with the work account. There's four of them. There's the main calendar, which has all of my events on it, and then there are birthdays from my work contacts, a whole new set of holidays, and a shared calendar from someone named Jill that allows us to see each other's appointments. I don't need two sets of holidays. Let's turn that off. And I also don't need to see the birthdays of my work contacts. Let's turn that off as well. Now when I tap done, I have all the data I want from my various calendars color coded, but none of the stuff I don't. Just make sure that whatever settings you've chosen, all of your devices use those same settings. Then everything will appear correctly on all of your devices. One final note, if you turn a calendar off, you're not deleting all the appointments permanently. You might worry about that because if you go here to Settings, Passwords and Accounts, and turn off, for example, the Work Calendar, you get this little pop-up that says Delete. So you're deleting those appointments from this device, but they still exist in the cloud. So if we go back, you see how they're missing on the calendar, right? They're not available on this calendar. But if we go back to the Settings and turn that calendar back on, now 
they all come back immediately. So even though you're clicking delete, you're not actually deleting the appointments. Don't panic if you see that. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click like if you found this helpful.